Yeah, you can just feel the buzz in this city all day long, and we are seconds away now for this opening face-off. This is what you play for. Moments like this, you can feel the energy in this building, and we are underway. Score! And they are on the board quickly in this one. That's because they were ready, James. I mean, the first five strides right from puck drop were urgent, and when you're aggressive and you're urgent on the puck, you find a way to put it in. I just love this goal all the way around here, James. I mean, the incredible vision to make this pass. It's about seeing where that player is going to be one step before they get there and then hitting it tape to tape. That pass is on the money, and it winds up in the back of the net. Minnesota's aggressive start has led to a quick lead in this one. Yeah, urgency, fast speed, and aggressive, and because of it, they're rewarded with that early goal. And they take control of the puck here in the neutral zone. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Shot! Takes it right in the chest! Philadelphia's got the puck in the defensive end. Keeps possession on the play. Pokes it away in his own end. Scooped up along the wall by Heatley. And the puck skips away after that move. Stops it with a glove! And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Heatley's been on fire lately. Everything he throws at the net seems to be going in. When it's working for you, you gotta be confident. You feel like nothing can go wrong. Puck picked up by Gostas Bear. And now he moves it quickly to Voracek. Oh, my! You can feel it from here! Well, that has to hurt, and he's getting up slowly. The whole body rattles when you get hit like that. Oh, he rocked him on the play! Oh, you know that he felt that one, James. The body is reverberating after it. What a great hit. Minnesota's grabbed a hold of the puck. Denies him! Hart's in the right spot at the right time. It's a brilliant save. Look out, here they come on the attack. He scores! Sean Couturier, his teammates call him the answer. There's a reason why coaches talk about crisp passing and execution. They get angry in your skating practice if it isn't on the tape. He puts on a clinic here in distribution and it winds up as a goal. Lots of time left in this period. It's all tied up. The Flyers take possession after that neutral zone faceoff. Intercepts it at center. Quick feed to Clutterbuck. Tries to get it to Cole. Scrum along the boards. Quick pass across to Vanek. Sacrifices the body to block that in front. up along the wall by Myers. Here's a chance! Denies it in front! Hart's a great goalie who can steal a game for his club. Dubnik's rock solid between the pipes. He can bail out his team and give them a chance to win on a nightly basis. Now these are impact players, and I'm expecting one of them to leave their mark on this one here tonight. Now, let's send it back upstairs. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. And some good footwork to kick it away. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Here he is, wrestling on that, and that goes off the glove and it stays out. And he slides it quickly to Atkinson. Minnesota's got a hold of it against the wall. Send a message to your opponent early in the game, and that early delivery of a bone-crushing hit, that does just that. Big time stop! Take it along the wall by Pitlick. Moving into the attacking zone. Quick shot! Gets a piece of it to keep it out. The Flyers gain control of the puck against the wall. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. Big time hit along the 
supports, and there's no give there. Well, there isn't, and you can just feel the rumble of the board from up here. Just bone crushing, separating body from pup. Slides it across to Cullen. A little dipsy doodle, and he loses possession of the puck. Taken by Pitlick. Fires it! My goodness, what a save by Dubnik! Looking to set up offensively. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Moves it to Hayes. Shot! Close save! Somehow got a piece of it. Slides it over with Pace to Niskanen. With the stop. And they continue to apply pressure here. Takes the feed. Philadelphia's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Here's a short pass to Giroud. Across the line. Here's a shot. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Moves it quickly over to Heatley. On the attack along the boards. The Flyers have it now. Receives the pass. And he's got that one. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. More than half the frame has been played here. We got a tie game. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Back at the point, they set it up. Puck scooped up by Konechny. Through the neutral zone, up along the wing. Here's a chance in front! And he shuts down a great scoring chance there! Teams are ready to go, and we're about moments away from puck drop. The Flyers will go to work here in the offensive zone. Wow! What a stop by Dubnik! Great read by Kennedy. And oh, what a close save by Dubnik! Going to the frame, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Collins won the faceoff. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Shot. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Niederreiter's backhand shot is one of his greatest assets. He's got incredible control and accuracy compared to most players with that type of shot, guys. And that's what his beauty backhand zone ability is all about. Scoops up the puck here. Quick pass to Van Riemsdyk. Minnesota's got the puck in their own end. Feeds it to Gabarik. Now he takes it over the line. And he slides it quickly to Scandella. Swats at it with the club and got just enough of it. Make a change, make a change. Fires it on net. That was amazing. What a save by Dubnik. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Cullen. Takes a shot. Makes a save. Gets a piece of it with the glove. Atkinson's lugging the puck. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Looks to make a play over to Pominville. He carries the puck up along the wing. Shot! Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps it at bay. I really like the save, James, because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. Dubnik's gonna hang on for a whistle. See if we can pick up some momentum again here as a face-off is ready to go. Philadelphia's got it, and they're on the attack. Quick feed to Sandheim. Slides it back to the blue line. Scores! The go-ahead goal puts them in front. Well, now they're in front, James, so they'll have some energy. You know that their first three strides will be more urgent, but they'll have to be accountable on the other side of the puck as well. This is kind of a do-whatever-it-takes kind of goal, and this is the type of goal that elevates your entire bench, James. It's not a highlight reel. It's not flashy. It's 100% effort. 
The Flyers have put themselves in the enviable position of playing with the lead, Cheryl. Uh, you always rather be ahead, wouldn't you? It's the best place to be, but you want to extend that lead. And you want to have a, an ability to play a little more comfortable, James. You got to stay aggressive. You got to manage the puck, and you got to look to attack the net. Well, fun start to this one as period number one comes to an end. We still got lots more still in store. Kids are coming out on the ice here to play the little mini prospects game. And we'll be back with more. A clean sheet of ice beckons and period number two set to get underway. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Well, Cheryl, over to the third of this one played. What do you make of this one? Hart's been fantastic in the game so far, James. I mean, he's the only reason his team is still in it. We're still in the early stages of this period. Philadelphia's got a one-goal lead. Granlin's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Fantastic save! Physical engagement. He got all of them, James. <laughs> that was big time. Slides it quickly to Konechny. Read that perfectly with the poke check. Line change. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. Barabee's tried a great move there. We all know with great hands he is in tight, trying to create some space, but it bubbles off the stick and he lost possession. Oh, they telegraphed the pass and he picks it off. The Flyers play it along the boards. Minnesota's looking to break out of their own end. Good hit to knock the puck loose. Quick feed to Ove Kubel. The Flyers will play it in their own end. He got all of that one. Here they come up along the wing. And that's poked away. Crosser's got the puck in his own zone. Slides it on over to Clutterbuck. Puts it on there. Oh, he makes a stick save, and that went right off the shaft of the stick. And it banks off a stick in traffic. Atkinson's twig snaps in two, and he gets back to the bench to get a new one in. Back into the play. Stars make it three in a row, and they're humming now. Well, they certainly are three in a row. They've got their opponents on their heels. It is a wave. You can feel it. The energy shift they're getting it in you see players working on this all the time in practice real tight to the net just that quick release shot it's gotta be on the stick and off the stick well it transfers to the game tonight Philadelphia's on a roll tonight now they've extended the lead to two they're on a roll and you can see it in their body language the way they're communicating on the bench when you're winning and you're feeling it everything's alive the Flyers gain possession along the wall Got railroaded, and closed space so fast, and just taken down. The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. Here they come. That knocks them off the puck. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Dished on over to Brodeen. Moves it to Hayes. To his teammate. What a save from point blank range. I mean, he's in fabulous position, square to the shooter in the slot, and he makes the glove hand save. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. The Flyers now lead by two. Minnesota's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. Niederreiter's got the puck. Takes the shot. Oh, a clutch save. Hart's had a solid night between the pipes, James. I mean, he's done everything he could to stop the puck, as indicated by his save percentage. But his team has also been really strong. Got the confidence of their netminder, and they've created a ton of opportunities. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. Niederreiter's trying to get a little too fancy with the puck there, and as a result, he loses it. Here's a shot. Gets a piece of it to make the save. Slides the puck over. 
Looking to make something happen along the boards. Shot! Big time save! Oh my goodness! Marco technique out the window. This time it's all about the competitive will to get to that puck. Minnesota's ready to go on the attack. And that's offside stopping the play. Let's have a look at that last save again. It was absolutely incredible. You're under pressure, you're under attack, really under siege, and you find a way to get to the puck. This is the stuff that champions are made of. Minnesota's had a lot of good looks on net, but they continue to trail here in the second. And off the broad center, they take control of the puck. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Niskanen. Here's a chance! Big time stop there! Reaches out and uses the stick. Into the attacking area from the left side. Takes it to the net! Stopped by the goaltender. And he shuts the door again! Rocks him on the play! Clutterbuck made an incredible play right there. I mean, he's stumbling. He looks like he's going to fall almost, but he's off balance, and that's the key. The puck isn't exactly where he wants it, but he still manages to find a way to get a shot off. Stones him in front. And he can't hang on after that hit. Strong defensive effort. Textbook pushing by Granlin. Niskanen's got it in the defensive end. Here's a short pass to Therby. Quick shot! And he gets a piece of that one and denies it! Here in the back half of this period, the Flyers are up 3-1. Minnesota's got possession here in their own end. Moves it quickly over to Granlin. Heatley's got it along the wing. Makes a move and the puck hops away from him. Sometimes when you lose the puck, it's a product of trying to do too much. Sometimes keeping it simple is more effective. Into the offensive zone. The Wild have taken possession in their own end. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. And now it's grabbed by Obey Kubel. Along the half wall with the puck. And that's turned aside by Dubnik. Heatley's moving the puck through his own zone. Gaining momentum up along the side. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Philadelphia's got the puck now. Dubnik's opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. Minnesota's been active on the shot department, but they continue to trail here late in period number two. And they win the defensive zone faceoff. Oh, he caught him! Oh, that's a thunderous hit along the boards. It's bone-crushing, James. You feel that one right up. Well, there's going to be a call on that one, James. Let's see what the officials are calling. The Wild have to kill off a penalty. Boarding is the call. Advantage takes to the ice. It's our first opportunity to get a glance at the special teams unit. First power play opportunity of the game. You know they've worked on this in practice, the setup, the look that they want. Let's see how they move. Well, you can't do that or you're going to find your way marching over to the box. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. Well, the official is right there to make the call, and no question about it, it's tripping. Anytime you take someone's feet out from under them, you're going to head to the box for two. Batten down the hatches. Things should open up here with a little four-on-four -on, -four on the ice. On a four-on-four, -four, you can expect all players on the ice when you're possessing the puck to activate. You have to be able to support the puck carrier. And if you're a defender, you know you're jumping into a lane going north. Philadelphia's got the puck against the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Koibu. Under a minute to go here inside the second period. And that's a great heads-up play by Hayes. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Dishes it to Corbin. 
They gain the offensive Fire. zone from the middle. Forces the turnover in the defensive zone. And that brings the second period to an end. Both teams will go back to their rooms and get a quick breather. Well, man, there's a lot of fans looking forward to this intermission action coming up here. Fun entertainment in store. And we've got the third period coming up in moments. Hey, fans, we'd like to draw your attention to the far part of the arena where we'll probably all Welcome back to EA Sports, the final frame of this one. Time to find out who wants it more tonight as period number three is underway. Power play has expired. You can have all the ozone possession time on a power play in the world and you don't convert. Why? Because that's where you have it, on the outside. You have to find ways to create seams, diagonal lines to the net, be able to shoot off the pass and get scoring opportunities. He got all of that hit on the play. The Flyers move the puck in the defensive zone. Delayed penalty coming up here. Pumps the puck away. The goaltender is quickly off to his bench to get the extra attacker out. And he makes the save on that play. Oh, he'll feel that one. Nice save from point blank range. There's the whistle, and here's the call. The Wild have to serve two minutes for boarding.
leads to the goal, and it takes incredible vision to find an open player like this, James. You gotta manipulate with your eyes, and then you gotta find a way to put it tape to tape. He does it, and it winds up in the back of the net. Philadelphia's added yet another one here to the total tonight. I mean, what a performance. Yeah, they've had the puck on their stick for a majority of this game. You know the coaching staff is gonna be impressed. Hey, maybe they'll get the day off tomorrow. Coyne's won the draw. Let's see what they can do with possession. Quick pass to Clutterbuck. And that's a great read to force the turnover. Carries the puck inside the neutral zone. Oh, and a big time hit on the play. Well, and it's another hit. I mean, how many times is that now, James? He's going to continue to be a target if his head is down. Here he is in close. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Dubnik. When the puck's in the low he slot, the goaltender gets right out next to the shooter and makes the save. That's gloved by Hart. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Oh, and he just got enough of that one to keep it out. Tries to feed it over to Pitlick. The Flyers carry it along the wall. Angles it over to Parisi. Great reach with the poke check by Myers. The Flyers scoop it up along the boards. Raffle stick handling in his own zone. Moves it over to Brodine. Quick feed to Pominville. Oh, rocked him! Sent into the offensive zone. Moves it to Pitlick. Great reach by Pominville. Look at this down the right wing. They're on the attack. Oh, just a great heads up play by Parisi. Pominville's carrying it ahead. And that's blocked away. And he had the answer on that play. Here's a short pass to Pominville. Picked up along the boards by Gostas Bear. The Flyers have controlled the puck and dominated play right from puck drop. And these games are a ton of fun. Sometimes you can't reproduce the feeling that goes along with them. So when you're in it, when you're embracing it, you have to find a way to really enjoy it. Under the track! The feed. And that one's turned aside. The Flyers grab possession to the puck. Taken by Van Riemsdyk. Minnesota's got the puck. Gabrick's taking it from his own end. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Moves it quickly over to Atkinson. Oh, absolutely hammers him. Frustration bubbling over late in the game when you're down by a bunch. You know you're not getting back in it to deliver that hit. Yeah, it's one thing. You know it's over. You're completely frustrated. And you chose. With possession along the wall. Slides the puck across to Prosser. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. Takes the feed behind the net. Big time stop gets a blocker on it. Oh, the bench gets such a boost when he scores, so that's such a timely stop by the goaltender. Doesn't allow any energy to be created. Play whistle dead, penalty coming up. Ferris called for tripping, he's off to the box. The power play unit goes right back to work. They haven't scored on the power play yet, but they have another opportunity. The key to this one, gain possession so they can set up. Couturier's won it in their own end. And there's the save. And it takes a shot. Denies him again. What a great job of tracking the puck. Not one, but two consecutive saves. Dismissed that chance. Tremendous intensity here in the offensive zone. Pressure saves right there. And there's the whistle as the goaltender will hang on and give his team a breather. Coyle is ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. The Flyers can kill off a few extra seconds now. Gets it out of his own end. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. Scores! So putting the special on special teams. It's a power play tally. Well, it's all about special teams, and it often makes a difference. And right now, there was pass execution, and they found a way to attack the net. 
can't measure heart or will, James, and that's exactly what this is. It is immeasurable. Picking up that puck off of a 50-50 battle, everyone on the bench is up, and then finding a way to convert for offense, that's a great play. Minnesota's had more shots on goal, but yet they run into a hot goalie. They trail late in this third period. Couturier won the draw. Slides it across to Konechny. Couturier's gonna play it against the half wall. Launches it from the point. And that brings an end to this one here this evening. A complete team effort tonight, and as a result, Cheryl, they've gone up in the series. Yeah, it's got to feel good to go up in the series and have a leg up on your opponent. Now it's about continuing to do exactly what got you into this position. Continue with the good habits and continue to press. That'll do it from rinkside here this evening from all of us here at EA Sports. My name is James Sabalski. Playoff hockey, it's simply the best, and we'll see you at the next postseason game. Cheers.